What's up, everybody? This is Joe Zebby here with Enchatten. Enchatten's a Protoss player, North American server. Pretty good. Pretty damn good. All there right, Enchatten versus Light. Uh, Protoss versus Zerg. And go ahead and get it going. All right, so what are we uh, what are we looking at this game? Uh, looking at a nice uh, PVZ matchup. Uh... I'm going to uh, show everybody a uh, nice all-in. Nice, nice. all-in. Okay. So I'm going to go into, into your vision. All right. So from the Protoss side, uh, let's walk through the build order. All right. Yeah. Also, I saw that Immortal Sentry had like 800 views. On yeah, it did. It actually did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like, what? This was a... Uh, uh, while back that we did that. I mean, that was a long time ago, like yeah, uh, I can't a year and a half ago, huh? I can't view that video anymore. You gotta... <laughs> so pretty much a standard nine pylon. Uh, I mean, that's pretty standard. I think I went a quicker gateway than normal. Okay. Um, I think it comes in at 12. I'm not 100% positive here, but maybe 13. No, 12. Okay. okay. Normally, you want to get that at 13. You know, wait a couple of seconds more. Uh, so you don't cut that probe right there, but uh, that's just what I did. Okay, so nine pylon, twelve uh, gateway. 13, we'll go thirteen gateway, thirteen gateway, thirteen, uh, thirteen gateway. Right as you hit fourteen, the gas is coming. Okay. So. Savu. <laughs> Team <What>? Savu, baby. <laughs> what is that? Team Savu. S A V U, Savu. Savu. That's all you need to know. I mean, you you could say what's that, but that's all that matters. It's what is that? Just remember, I don't put three immediately on gas. Uh, you go one, and you kind of swap the other one and build a cybercore. Yeah, and then you know, and then that one that goes to the cybercore goes in, and then uh, the next two go directly in. So from the nexus, I don't really take them off the mineral line. So I put two from the Nexus into the simulator, and then one that I build the second pylon with, and the Kyber core also goes in. So, okay, so chronoing out a zealot. Yeah, just remember, oh, the most important thing about this whole entire build, only chrono boost one time on your Nexus for probes. Okay. So what do we want? We want, um... You want to right, chrono boost the zealot out. You want to okay. chrono boost the zealot out. So Zealot's obviously there for defense against early lings and uh, whatever else. Yeah. The moment you can get uh, warp gate is preferable. The moment okay. that pops out, you know, just the moment you have gas for it. So no Zealot. chrono on uh, warp gate then. Y yes. Remember though, key thing: fifteen. You're only gonna have fifteen probes on the nexus when you need to start cutting probes, not the normal sixteen. So okay. you're able to build that nexus. Just remember that. That's very, very important. So uh, early zealots for defense. Uh, Mothership core coming out. Well, these zealots are actually going to his base. Oh, okay. Oh, so we're doing like a three zealot Mothership core poke? Yes. But here comes a little problem. A little problem. These two zerglings. Now, remember, these two zerglings... I didn't, I, you ne never chase them. I just went up there because my zealot was back there. I have to go all together anyway, so yeah. I did it. You're just going to use um, your probes to fight them off, right? Yes, yes, but make sure your third and fourth pylon goes down here, okay? It has okay. to go down here, third and fourth. Has to, to. The to moment build you have minerals, wall, right? Yeah, the moment you have minerals for it, I still have 15 probes. I did not make another probe yet. Since I built that nexus, I still have not made a probe. Okay. Remember that. Very Got important. That. You're cutting probes now. Fifteen zealot, probes. Cut probes. Yes, cut probes at. Uh, you should only have 14, 15, 17 probes in total. That's it. Okay. Then you build your wall. Once your wall is completed, then you could. Uh, you know, are you looking at the base of the battle? Uh, battle. Okay, so going back to the base. Uh, two more gateways. Let's go back a little bit. Let's go back oh. a little bit. I'm going back. What are we looking at? Uh, yeah, just let's look at the base. Okay, base. All right, look at the base right here. Forge, Forge. comes out at 5:30. Okay. 
Okay, five, very key timing. 5.30 to forge. The gateway comes down. Same also, Robo should be placed at 5.30. I got it a little later to this game, but 5.30, that Robo goes down. 5.30 to 5.45, you need to build a Robo. Another and then, you know, once you, get this wall, once you get the wall built on the bottom, that's when you can start building the crap out of probes and everything. Now let's go back to the battle. Okay, so right. these Zealots and the Mothership Corps are obviously there to put pressure, forced unit production. Yeah. Uh, Alright, you see these these zealots right here? See how I did that time warp? Do yeah. not lose these zealots. <laughs> okay. This right. time warp slows down those zerglings. He has a spine. He had like 10 zerglings there. I know that slowed him down enough. Now, let's go to all. Let's go to everybody. Now, okay. hopefully he should be building more zerglings. Does he build more zerglings? No. I don't. Okay. Uh, I got production so, open, so I didn't see any zerglings after that. No, he is he's straight droning right now. All right, so now I know what he did was he's probably gonna go roaches now, or you know try to get quick, 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 quick hydras. But okay. I have a timing push. I'm coming in in 11 minutes, not before. Do not come in before. Do not come in after. That's just pretty much you have a you have a short window. The moment you warp in as close to the 11 minute mark as possible, that warp in, that's when you hit. So the Robo base should have been down at 5.30, but we didn't start it till uh, about 6.30. Six something. A little over six minutes, but just FYI to anybody watching, 5.30 for the Robo. Yeah. Don't really worry. If you get it late, not that big of a deal. It's not really the end of the world. I just like to go in with three immortals. So um, four gateways. Uh, Warp Prism coming out instead, not an immortal. No, I always warp prison first, and you're about to see why. I always I love to scout with it, um, and that's pretty much that. Now these gateways, they go down whenever you have minerals for them. You're gonna get seven whenever you have the minerals for them, and you just keep putting them down until you have seven. So seven gate robo. Okay, got you. All right, I have one sentry in my base, just relaxing, just in case, you know. Don't try to, to pick like, off the control. overlord if possible. Oh yeah, that's going up to the overlord. So after the war prism, we have immortals. Again, more gateways going down. Uh, remembering to keep up on our pylon count so we don't get supply blocked. This what about gas? You stick on one gas for a long time? Uh, the moment I push out, I go all four. I should go all four. Okay. But I don't even know if I kill this overlord. I really didn't care if I did or not. I think you do. It's pretty close. It should die. Yeah. yeah anyway, okay, okay right, so looking at the war prism... Oh yes, go to just my vision. You go to just my vision. I saw he has a roach warren now. Yeah. He knows he just came into my base. He knows he's about to just get pain inflicted on him. You know, his lair's up. He just, his lair just got finished. Like two seconds ago, his lair just got finished. All right. At this point, hydras are not an option for him. They're just they're just not. Because he invested too much in the other stuff, right? Yeah, he, he, he got way too... Well, he didn't get the way too many Zerglings early, but he got, you know, a nice inject worth of Zerglings. He got the two uh, the spine crawler here. You know, so... he I mean, he'd have to get the Hydra Bay right up right now. Um, and he could have Hydras, but, I mean... And we're using that Warp Prism to uh, to warp in units, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't do Pog... And I'm going to show you why you get a Warp Prism. You got to have Micro to do this build. Because these immortals do not die if you have a micro. And I'm going to show okay. you what. So we're just watching the battle. Seven gateway, one robo. Poking yes. up at the third? Yeah, the third, right? No, right? No, no, no. Natural. Just pushing natural. straight into the army. Okay, got yep. it. Natural. Remember, 11 minutes. Exact 11 timing. Minutes. 11 okay. minutes. I was in there. 11 Warp prism. Uh, All zealots, a couple stalkers, and two immortals. Got it. Yes. Remember, remember, though, once you engage there... Wait for the next warp in before you engage again. Okay. Not a big deal. Uh, third immortal on the way. So wait for that third immortal too, and then another warp in of zealots, or. Uh yes, and then going straight in. Also, key thing: time warp on your mothership core. The most important thing: you got to time warp these roaches okay. so these zealots can nuke them. Now. So... All right, time warp. Now the roaches can't get away. The immortals deal all that extra damage. He has a way bigger army than me, but like I said before, Micro is gonna win this game. That's just that's just the way it comes down. Okay. All right. He's 
Killing this mortal. So running our mortals away. Mm. <laughs> okay, very nice. Very nice. Loading up. Oh, oh. And All right, GG. That's up. it. Very nice. And then he just left. All right, so go ahead and email me that replay, and I'll post it up on um, probably GG Tracker, and I'll leave a link in the comment section below because um, I think a lot of Protoss players will definitely like to do a build like this if they don't know how to do it already. And uh, I like the timing. Very strong, very fast, and uh, just outright cripples a fast expanding Zerg. Very nice. Uh, anything else you want to point out? Oh, I just want to point out, remember, in Mothership Core, the only time you really should use any mana on it is early to save your Zealots. Mm -hmm. And also, if your Zealots are retreating to your base and he has quick Zergling speed and he has like 12 Zerglings and there's no way your Zealots are ever going to live to your base, just stop an attack and... Just send your Mothership Core back to your base and just let your Zealots die and do as much damage as they can. And macro up accordingly. Yeah, just sacrifice them because they're not blowing through your wall. There's just no way they're going to blow through your wall. With that Sentry sitting at your base with, like, full mana, he'll be able to force field the moment, you know, Banelings come in, you know, to stop So you make a full like... wall? No cannons, though, huh? No, you don't need a cannon. Uh, oh, but also, very, very important, if you look at my base right now, I piloned the entrance so he can't get in. All right, that that that's pylon, so that's blocked. Oh, yeah. Can't get in or can't get out. I mean, if he comes into my base, just warp into stalker or something like that. Yes. All right. I built an extra gateway. I have no idea why though. Do you have eight? Yes, Two, I do. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, you do have eight. And I uh, didn't even make it, it a never, warp. <laughs> it never changed. Yeah. Yeah, so just remember, uh, don't get eight. Get seven. seven, not eight. Okay, got it. Yeah. All also, right. 530 uh, Robo. Very thanks important. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment in the section below with any questions or suggestions that you have. And, um, again, I'll be posting a link to the replay in the description. So if you want to check it out, then uh, feel free to download it. All right, have a good one.